Hi, this is Lou from ByzantineRoads.info asking you to join us here on our second podcast. We're going to be going over some free uh, novel writing software, and today we're looking at YWriter. YWriter is from Space Jock Software, a very popular program. He's got a whole suite of writing applications, and it's designed from the ground up uh, for novel writing. You can see here, this is the sample uh, novel that comes with Space Jock's uh, YWriter. Uh, already has chapters and scenes set up, characters and words, word counts. Um, it looks similar to the book writing template that we profiled last week on our Open Office podcast. Uh, that's because the book writing template for Open Office was designed to mimic some of the features found in YWriter. So if you see here, I don't have any kind of free writing. This tells me the scenes in the chapter I've selected and some background pre-writing information. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm just going to open up chapter one here. And you can see punched in description of the chapter, title, scene summaries, all here on this title bar. We're going to just select this and select the scene. And here we see the free writing word processor. Pretty basic word processor, uh, but it does the trick. YWriter will uh, export your novel as a text file for final editing and publishing. The scene summary is down here. We have a list of characters and which one we want to put in as our viewpoint character. And on top we have a few tabs that we're going to go through real quick. Um, starting with the characters, and you can see this is pretty easy. Um, if we need to keep track of where our characters are and what scenes they're showing up, we can drag them over, enter them into the scene, take them out of the scene, do all kinds of things. We've got goals, descriptions, biographies, just all kinds of notes. Now, YWriter is pretty open-ended. You don't have to use this if you don't want to. You don't have to add the information if you don't want to. Um, it's basically designed for you as the writer. We have here a picture. You can import pictures, use as inspiration or references. Um, I assume that's the uh, writer of the, or the programmer for YWriter. Um, notes items just like characters you need to keep track of say clues or treasures or whatever uh, you can enter them here and they'll show up in our storyboards locations same type of thing just if we're using a location in a scene drag it over we don't want to use it drag it back now the tab uh, the details tab very excited about the details tab I didn't know why writer had this capability if you look here we've got a couple radio buttons on top We've got action, reaction, and plot, subplot. These tie in with uh, the Marshall Plan for novel writing, um, very popular workbook I like using. Um, lets us know whether the characters are acting or reacting to um, somebody else's actions, whether it's part of their main plot or subplot. We can tag it for searching. We can keep track of how many times we've been into this particular scene to write and rewrite it. Um, so we can, you know, see if we're working on some of our scenes are still in draft mode, or whether we're polishing some and we're pretty much done with them. Um, over here, these tags over here, you can set f uh, from one to five or one to ten the relevance of your scene to the plot, whether you want to keep it or not in the book, or need to keep it or not in the book. The tension, humor, and quality. And YWriter will give us a line chart so we can see whether we're bunching up, say, all our funny scenes all in one part of the book, or all our tension, if it's rising, if it's getting worse as the, the action goes on, or we've got some scenes in the wrong place. Um, nice little format there. So I'm going to close this down, and we're going to take a look at the top menu and some of the selections up here. Um, reports neat thing about the report, it'll give us a work schedule, keeps track of all our changes to our document, it tells us when we've added scenes and chapters, when we've done our typing, how many words we've typed in a session, um, basically gives us a whole, rats, I can't get that, gives us an HTML file that we can download, and tips, and you can see here I haven't really worked on this. This is just the sample novel, but it gives us a nice little chart that keeps track of our work for us. If we go to search, search is basic. Chapter scene, characters, locations, and items basically pop up the, the tabs that we've already seen in the uh, scene, uh, the writing window. If we go to tools, we've got 
have a storyboard which shows us the scenes we have and which characters go where helps us keep track we have a daily word count worksheet that pops up so we can plan our writing and a couple other things the scene rating charts mentioned earlier again this is the line chart that goes over the tags we've put in we put in when we're doing our writing and you can see here we start out with a high action energy opening we add a little bit of humor and that's basically all we have done in our sample again if you start a new project just go to the new project wizard very basic we're going to use the same same abandoned project that we used in our open office sample save it. Oops, let's go gold. Just call this gold for a minute. Have to create it. And you can see it's completely blank. There are no prompts in Y Rider. You're not forced to pick gender of your character, height, weight, age, hair color, um, all that other stuff that some writing programs make you do before you can write it. All we have to do is add our chapter. We're going to create multiple chapters, and I want this to be a 60,000 word ebook, so we're going to put 20 chapters. We're going to collect, start with chapter 1, and put three scenes in each chapter. and we're going to go from there. We can start adding characters, we can start adding locations and items, we can give us our scene summary, and we can start typing. So that's a nice little uh, uh, overview of Y Rider. You can see why it's popular. I've never really used it before, but I'm kind of excited thinking about starting. Um, and that's about it. Uh, please visit us at byzantineroads.info. Uh, and subscribe to our podcast. I'm planning on doing these about once a week. I'm running a couple of days behind today. I uh, had an endoscopy on Friday, uh, so just running a little bit behind in my writing this month, but I intend to have a novel done by about the middle of June. So hope to see you around. Thank you very much for, for stopping by.